legal battle to permanently shut down a private club in West Las Vegas. This Wednesday, the city will consider disciplining Perrin Elks Lodge. Metro Police claims there's been a pattern of violent crime at that place for years. Hector Mejia is live outside City Hall with details on that. Good morning, Hector. Good morning. The city is looking at a long 79 page complaint against the lodge, saying that they have actually enabled that violence. But the club president says that is not true, that those incidents have been out of their control. Peron Elks Lodge is over by Owens and the I 15. It's been closed for a month now, part of a 90 day closure, according to the club. And they said they filed an injunction to reopen, saying they're being targeted and unfairly. In court documents, Metro says employees have refused to cooperate during several investigations, including attempted murder. But the lodge says they are not the problem. The crimes have been between people. Uh, we didn't have any control over what happened in the parking lot. Uh, now they're trying to make us responsible where that we need to put armed security. So that to me shows that we're going to have some additional problems. At this point, from a legal perspective, we're trying to get the lodge reopened. Um, and that is the one thing that Metro and the city have indicated they will not support. Um, however, that is extremely prejudicial to the lodge. There are employees who have been out of work since the shutdown. There are members who can't use the lodge. The temporary closure has affected 24 employees and dozens of members. It's a nonprofit social club for the black community. It's been around since the 1950s. The lodge says they've tried to make changes, including a computerized list of members because they're required to sign in and have an ID. They said they've placed, they've placed working metal detectors and made security changes. The city is not commenting at this time, and the club is not the only one thinking they're being targeted unfairly. You'll hear from the president of the Ward 5 Chamber of Commerce ahead at 6.30. Reporting live outside City Hall, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now.